What's up everybody, it's your boy Clayton Philpo here, now I'm live streaming Rainbow Six Siege, and as you can see I've got, you know, I'm in the new house, I got the new setup going with the microphone, and uh, I'm now playing on a desktop computer, so that's kind of cool, and I'm going to start doing a lot more streams now uh, at random times, you can definitely catch these live streams Mondays and Thursdays we're gonna say around 9 p.m. Eastern time okay and that's your chance to connect with me uh, ask whatever questions you want face to face there's a chat box right here uh, right now we got a couple of people in the comments section we got horse rider cannoli king Ricky Gomez system failure <clears throat> and we're just chilling right now so I'm gonna hop into a game real quick and I'm gonna take a couple of questions from you guys uh, the first bit of questions, I actually want to know your opinion of tattoos. Now, not just like Moto Tats or Marine Corps tattoos, like we'll get into that. But on the surface, <clears throat> what is your guys' opinion of tattoos? Because personally, I was kind of against tattoos my entire life. But at like, I guess it was like my second year in the Marine Corps and like a whole bunch of stuff happened, man. Like... My, my one of my best friends was where he was deploying to Afghanistan, <clears throat> and like two weeks before that, uh, our other best friend, his dad committed suicide, uh, and I was moving to the Pentagon. It was just like all this like cr boom, 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 crazy stuff one after the other. Uh, so we actually got tattoos. Uh, the three of us did, and um, and um, I don't regret it at all. In fact, my tattoo is on my back. It's, t it's small. It's a tiny tattoo. I'll give you that. Uh, but it means brothers forever in Latin. Uh, it's Fretter Saturni. Uh, so I got mine on my back. My buddy got his on his side. The other one got it on his biceps. So I don't know if you can see it or not. But yeah, it's back there. Trust me. You can, yeah. <clears throat> um, I just got an invite to a party. Eyeless Chimp 55. You're on YouTube. Uh... So yeah, Jeremy Schmick in the comments right here, he says, whatever floats your boat. Um, and I, I agree. I mean, if you like tattoos, cool, good on you. I try to keep mine on my back because it's not going to be seen in work clothes. But really, I mean, it's 2016, man. Like, you should be able to have tattoos and, and still work a professional blue-collar job if you want to, or white-collar, doesn't matter, and not be fired for it, you know? Um, so that's my opinion on tattoos. I was initially against them but have changed my opinion as I've gotten older. Uh, so in the comment section below, please let me know about your opinion of tattoos. Now we're going to transition real quick into moto tattoos. I'm all for tattoos, says Glavani. It's your body and you should be able to do what you want. I, I concur with that. I really do. Um, I think as long as they're not insane and all over your entire body, I think they're good, says Hayden. And, uh, yeah, so the, the general consensus seems to be <laughs> tattoos are good. Jeremy says, I have moto tat on the face. Now, believe it or not, when I went to boot camp, there was a poolie, or I guess he would be a recruit at that point. And he came to boot camp, eagle, globe, and anchor. I'm not even kidding. Stretching the entire length of his back, dude. And he was a, he was a poolie when he got it. Don't get a moto tat. As a pulley, if you haven't seen the revised standards, it's basically just within PT gear. I know the Navy, they went back to, like, crazy tattoos and, like, do whatever you want. Like, that's the Navy, though. I wish the Marine Corps would do that, but uh, unfortunately they won't. Uh, they're, they're keeping it to uh, no, no tattoos visible within PT gear. So, you know, the shirt that you can still have your quarter sleeve or half sleeve, um... And there's like a slightly more relaxed regulations, but for the most part, it hasn't changed that much. Um, and if you do want to join with a tattoo, you can get a waiver, but it's hard. There was a kid at my MOS school. I'm not even kidding. He had a swastika tattoo. I don't know how he got in with that, but somehow he did. Any kind of gang-related tattoos, anything that's like a hate group uh, or like terrible language on it or anything like that, they will... 100% not let you join the Marine Corps with that. So, yeah. And then what else can we talk about on the, on the you know, topic of tattoos? I think that, you know, when, when they're appropriate, they're cool. 
I think that you should be able to express yourself. I know the Marine Corps' tattoo policy isn't very favorable, but rules are rules. And the reason why we have a tattoo policy in their minds is uh, because they want the warfighter to be also professional when in garrison. So when we're stateside and you're in your uniform, they want you to look as professional as possible. So I do get the rules, but also, I mean, you know, we're warfighters, so what the hell, but whatever. Uh, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think about tattoos. Uh, also, real quick, if you want to add me on Xbox uh, One, uh, my gamer tag is now Clayton Philpo. Ooh, I just wrecked that guy. My gamer tag is Clayton Philpo. I changed it from Mr. Philpo, and then I changed it to uh, an inappropriate gamer tag that Xbox like immediately banned. Uh, so now I had to change it back to Clayton Philpo, all one word, and I like it better anyway. So. Uh, like I said, stop by the stream. Follow me on Twitter uh, whenever you want. I will I'll update you on when I'll be streaming. Follow me on Instagram. Uh, all those handles are at Clayton Philpo. All right, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. We will see you later.